After all the hype, Euro 2012 has finally kicked off. Poland draw with Greece in the opener, whilst Russia thrashed the Czech Republic. Mystic Greg previews tonight's Group B matches. Kev the chicken to make amends after a foul start. Lauren Blanc has a team full of fatties. And Michael Owen airs his disappointment at missing out on selection. I'm Sean, and you're watching The Goal Line. Host Poland got the tournament underway last night, drawing one all with 2004 champions Greece. Both teams finished the match with 10 men, with Polish substitute goalkeeper Premislav Titan saving a penalty to deny the Greeks a win. Russia were too strong for the Czech Republic, and an on form Alan Zagoev helped the Russians to a 4 1 victory. Tonight sees Group B's turn to play their first round of matches. Our man in the know, Mystic Greg, is there to give you the lowdown. First up, can the Dutch achieve greatness against the Danes? Welcome to the Metalist Stadium in Kharkiv, which even the locals are calling the home of the Group of Death. The Dutch are likely to start with two holding midfielders tomorrow, Nigel de Jong and Mark van Bommel. But their real strength lies in that attacking power. We've just been watching some shooting practice. You've got the likes of Robin van Persie, Klaus van Kuntelaar, Wesley Schneider, Arjen Robin, Raphael van der Vaart. Two or three of those players might not even be on the pitch. And that's where they're going to be looking to, to break down the Danes. The Denmark fans tomorrow will be housed behind the goal behind me here. They'll be cheering on the likes of Nicholas Bentner and Christian Eriksen. Eriksen is particularly exciting. Based in Holland, of course, at Ajax, the playmaker is going to be the key to what they do if they are going to break down the Holland defence. In this evening's other Pool B game, 2008's losing finalist Germany take on Portugal in Arena Lviv in Ukraine. Over to you, Greg. Saturday sees our first genuine clash of the Titans as Portugal take on Germany in Lviv. Germany are many of the pundits' hot favourites to win the tournament this year as they come in with the experience of the likes of Bastian Schweinsteiger, Miroslav Klose and Arsenal new boy Lukas Podolski, supplemented by young, bright talents like Bayern Munich's Thomas Müller. Germany are very much focused on the team ethic, but they come up against a Portugal side that will be looking to Cristiano Ronaldo to produce the goods. The Real Madrid man scored 46 goals in La Liga this season but questions remain over whether he can perform at international level on the big stage. Could this be his year? Thanks, Greg. We'll have more daily updates from our Golden Four as the tournament progresses. You never want to see one of your own players sent off for foul play, but there is one type of foul we don't mind seeing at Euro 2012. It's Kev, the psychic chicken from Kiev. <laughs> didn't exactly get off to a flyer with his first round of prediction, but he's back to set the record straight. So Kev the psychic chicken from Kiev now makes his first venture into the so-called group of death. Oh, and Denmark with a surprise lead, but the Netherlands are back level. One of the favourites for the tournament, and Kev thinks they will get at least a point out of the Denmark game. Well, Germany and Portugal, two of the big hitters, and Germany have the nod. Well, these two sides will both be looking to get out the group stage, and Germany are going to get off to the better start. So it's Germany and a draw between the Netherlands and Denmark for our day two predictions. More prediction nuggets from Kev tomorrow. Although French coach Laurent Blanc's injury concerns have eased slightly with Blaise Matuidi and Alou Diara making good progress, he seems to be having one or two problems with his fat players. Sorry, fit players. Several reports have stated that Philippe Mexes is struggling with his weight after coming back from injury. The French head coach felt the need to defend his centre-back, saying... He has quite a stocky physique, but he only has 10% of body fat. I can tell you there are fatter people than him in the squad. Uh, would you like a bigger shovel, Lauren? It seems a current trend that if you don't get selected for your country, you throw your toys out of the cot. Michael Owen amazingly felt like he had missed out and had this to say. Obviously, you know, Roy, I, I just want to say, you know, um, I've been fit and ready all season, you know, I'm, I'm quite disappointed, you know, you, you, you haven't took me over because, you know, I think I've played really, really well and, you know, I think that 
obviously, you know, in all six minutes that I've played, you know, I've been really impressive, haven't I? And that's what my mum said, it was great and everything, so... From one Liverpool legend to Stuart Downing. Downing has admitted it was embarrassing he didn't score a single goal for Liverpool all season and then went on to say his job is to create goals. He probably should have kept his gob shut considering he hasn't provided a single assist either. The £20 million player then went on to blame his strikers for not putting the chances away. Poor show, Stuart. What's that saying about bad workmen and tools? There's no bluebirds over the White Cliffs of Dover, just a 100-foot statue of Roy Hodgson staring over the channel to England's first opponents, France. Not sure if this is supposed to intimidate them, Roy. Maybe they should have used Joey Barton. Well, that's your lot for today, but remember to tune in tomorrow when Layla will be back for more of your daily goal line. See ya!